How can you compare this useless government that has led Ghana into such crisis to the government of Kwame Nkrumah? The statistics again tell us that things are not well with this country. All the statistics for a government that said it was going to come with an economic wizard, an economic guru, and that is the reason why he was being brought to stabilize the economy and stabilize the currency. To take the city from four cities to 16 cities and tell us that, clap for us, we've done well. If such a government is not living in an illusion, what else is an illusion? For a government that has taken inflation as far as 54 percent, and it is currently still above 20 percent, to tell us that we should clap for them because they've done well. If they are not living in an illusion, then I don't know what an illusion is. But that is the beauty of democracy. It gives us the opportunity every four years to make a change. And the time has come for us to make that change. The time has come for us to reset Ghana. And I believe that four years is enough to do the reset of Ghana. We will reset this country so that future generations can come and build on that foundation. Our intention is to ameliorate the damage that has been done. We all saw what happened in the banking sector clean out. The indigenous capital of Ghanaians in our banking sector was wiped away with one very reckless decision. And so today, most of our people who are working in the banking sector for these banks are today unemployed, and I'm sure there are some of them here. Today, some of them are Uber drivers, some are bakers, some are even uh, driving Aboboya and Mahama Kambu. The time has come for us to make a change. And I've said when we come, we will restore for those who unjustifiably had their banking licenses withdrawn, we shall restore their licenses to them. So that we can create more employment for our people. The debt restructuring has given people haircuts, and that's what Nana was talking about. Today, the savings of our middle class has been eroded because of the debt restructuring. Our pensioners, and I'm sure there are some of the pensioners here, your provident fund that you use to buy bonds and other things in order that when you go on pension, you'll be able to buy your medication and be able to look after yourself. Today, this government has endangered your future. Many might not live long because they cannot, get, they cannot afford to buy medicines. And this government does not deserve one day longer. But our constitution says they still have five months to go. But come December, we must take the decision that will change the trajectory of our country. The world is waiting for a signal. Ghana is waiting for a signal. Investors are all holding on because they want to see what will happen in Ghana. We must take a decision on 7 December that shows the world that we are serious people. And that we know that our country needs a turn around. And so 7 December, let us all make sure we come out in our numbers and we vote so that we move this government out. Let us not lose hope. Let us have hope. Because I can assure you that the next NDC government is a government that will restore hope and create opportunities for our young people. NDC has the men and the women. 
And it's not like what the MPP said, we have the men. And we didn't know they were area boys. NDC has capable men and women who are capable of turning our fortunes around. And our first priority is going to be job creation so that we can create jobs for the teeming youth of this country. And that is why I'm proposing the 24-hour economic policy. The policy is going to be linked with aggressive food production and modernization of our agriculture. And that's why I'm saying in every district we're going to create the farmer service centers. We will bring the tractors, the planters, the plows, the seeds, the fertilizer. And if you're a farmer, you must register with the center. And at the beginning of the farming season, we'll give you all the inputs that you need so that you can produce your crops. And when you have sold your crops, you come back and pay for the inputs that you have been given. The 24-hour economy is going to be linked to an accelerated export development program. We're going to create agro-processing zones. And we're going to create a new class of agribusiness agri people. And so all you young people will be encouraged to go into agro-processing. You can buy the food of the farmers, you can process it, package it nicely, either for domestic consumption or for export. And there's going to be an accelerated uh, uh, export development program of which I, the president, will be the chairman to make sure that we increase the exports of Ghana. Ghana has the human resources to turn our nation around. Ghanaians are capable. Ghanaians are capable. They need the right leadership. They need a selfless leadership. And that is why I'm saying that governance is going to be a key platform of the new government. One of the things we will continue is the work Professor Tamil started of reviewing the 1992 constitution and amending it so that it will be a living document that guides our country into the future. We will continue the constitutional review to amend the various sectors that are holding us back. We know that the vast majority of our people want our district chief executives to be elected. 